Well, it's wonderful to talk with you today. And, uh, you know, we'd love to know more about uh, Shenzhen Valley Ventures. Uh, so I understand that the venture, actually the, the SVB group, it started out as an accelerator. And today, yes. of course, uh, you, you're sort of the hub of manufacturing and you provide a platform where a lot of uh, technology manufacturing or hardware companies are able to use your platform in order to prototype and in order to grow. So can you tell us a little more about it? That's really the idea. Uh, the, um, just like our, our company name, just as uh, you you were asking, you were asking Fred uh, by calling ourselves uh, as venture, the whether we are accelerator, but the, uh, we're still, and uh, in the long run, uh, we will be still an investment company, but we want to make uh, we want to make uh, the model uh, different. And uh, as a venture firm, uh, really, it's a, it's, a, it's a capital. It's, a, it's a using capital to just invest and get, get the financial return. And the, uh, but when, uh, when investment get into hardware category, money is not everything. I mean, the, the, uh, the, there are problems that cannot be resolved but by money. The, uh, and uh, since uh, with my background, uh, we do have a very good resources on hardware. Uh, ecosystem in Shenzhen, the, the uh, supply chain, engineering, and others. And uh, in many cases, uh, these resources are more helpful to start a company than money. Right. So I think the, uh, uh, if, uh, if uh, we could combine our, our resources in the industry and also the investment, uh, there might be a model that can increase uh, the, uh, the survival rate of a startup company and also uh, making the investment uh, uh, making for the for the financial return uh, much better, and the uh, uh, that is the model we are creating. And uh, uh, even though we are still in in uh, in the middle of uh, of uh, creating uh, this model to prove uh, it's working, but so far so far it looks quite com uh, promising. Sure, and I mean you know uh, given of course now the uh, the pre pandemic and the post pandemic situation looks a little different. So what kind of technologies according to you, what kind of hardware according to you, would now be more uh, sort of uh, would would be something that you are planning to look at in depth? Would be something that you would want to uh, sort of uh, get in the platform and be you know uh, able to create it and help it grow much faster. So do you think in pre-pandemic and post-pandemic days, the, the kind of focus that the company had for manufacturing and hardware products is changing in some ways? Uh, uh, there are several dimensions to, to answer your question. And the, uh, the first dimension is that the, uh, even though we are a hardware company, uh, but uh, the partner we are looking for is actually a software developer and also algorithm developer. And the, uh, within the, the, um, uh, uh, the uh, in the AI, in AI and IoT uh, era, uh, software and the algorithm is the core value. Uh, and also it's, it's, uh, it's like the, uh, uh, the soul of, uh, of hardware, the brain of hardware. And the, uh, uh, the, uh, the, the, the company we're looking for is that more of a building a hardware and software combined technology. And uh, uh, in many cases, uh, it's, it's a robotic related. It's, it's uh, like uh, providing, providing uh, a robotic uh, or uh, providing an automation system uh, to improve the efficiency of a, of a, of a specific category, uh, like, uh, like uh, manufacturing, uh, agriculture, uh, medical and the uh, how they can replace human being and uh, and also in, the, in another way the how they can make a machine doing a better job than human being sure and I mean given the fact that automation is now the the new buzzword and you know even with contactless and the kind of world that we are living in today uh, the humans want to have less interaction with other humans because of the pandemic so, um, I mean, manufacturing was already seeing a lot of automation happening, but what other sectors do you also see where big automation, I mean, whether it is retail or whether it is hospitality, some sectors where you see we are going to see a bigger flux of uh, uh, automation happening? Uh, yes, and say the, the um, uh, automation is happening, I would say the, it's happening in every, uh, in every B2B business, uh, as far as I, I know. 
it's only a matter of, of, uh, of uh, to what level and extension uh, it is uh, deployed. And the, the more traditional the industry is, uh, the, the more demand we can see for automation. So, and uh, I mean, you know, uh, what particularly in 2020, what kind of automation uh, have you seen at SVB uh, in terms of, you know, uh, where you've seen more innovation happening and what kind of products are likely to come out in the market because of what that prototyping in, let's say, by October 2020? Um, well, so the, the, uh, we are currently we are serving uh, a quite diversified industry. The, the, uh, the, uh, we have we have uh, we have uh, projects in medical, uh, in, med in life science and medical, uh, agriculture, uh, uh, manufacturing automation, and also and also the uh, oil uh, industry. So the, the, even though the uh, currently the uh, um, the projects are pretty spread out, but the, we think the. Uh, the major path in the future may fall into uh, uh, medical devices, connected medical devices and, uh, and, uh, and, uh, and uh, environment uh, production. Sure, and I mean, do you also see that today with, uh, I mean, um, so since you mentioned about medical uh, uh, field, but I mean, overall, you know, in, in terms of what people wear today, do they want such fabrics which are probably less, um, I mean, you know, uh, less prone to catching uh, uh, such viruses and so on. So do you feel that even uh, in sectors like fashion or even in the uh, home or some other such areas which were very prone, um, you know, where, where it's very easy to probably have these viruses uh, seeping in, do you see some developments happening there as well? Uh, sure, sure. I think the idea, um, um, uh, even for for the uh, even for the uh, um, <laughs> currently we're, we're, we're working on a project. Even though it's not fashion, but the, it's, it's close. It's close to uh, to uh, to the, uh, the uh, household. And the, the uh, uh, now it's still still confidential. But the, the uh, we are working with uh, one of the major uh, um, uh, family family appliances uh, retail giants. And the, the how to digitalize their their the showcase in in, in, the, in the retailer and the uh, how to make the, uh, the shopping returns um, more friendly for for shoppers. So I think the uh, and uh, uh, in the fashion industry, the, the uh, we already already um, uh, met quite several uh, such companies that's that's uh, providing providing three D three D three D fitting. Uh, 3D uh, measuring for 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 clothes and uh, shoes, etc. I think the, 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 that, that that could be could be a very example for uh, for uh, how AI could improve uh, the fashion uh, industry in the future. Sure, and I mean your platform also extends itself to funding also in terms of helping some providing some seed funding or angel funding or at least being able to provide these startups with a network where they could go out and raise some capital for their startup as well? Uh, yes, and uh, uh, so far the, the company uh, SVB was founded for about uh, four years now and currently we have uh, we invested into uh, 18 company already and uh, now we are slowing down our investment, uh, our internal uh, uh, investment but uh, we do have a network of our VC partners and the uh, uh, we are be referring uh, the uh, the such company we, we feel that that uh, has the potential and uh, that the, uh, we could use our network to help such company to uh, to risk uh, to make a fundraising. Right, and I mean uh, any of the startups that you uh, sort of started with four years ago, any uh, sort of example that you have or any startup that you have who's been now uh, become a large or a driving force in the economy in terms of the kind of play and the network and uh, impact that they have? Uh, currently, uh, two of our portfolios are already, already in, in quite a good size. Uh, one is, uh, one is surgical, surgical uh, robotic, um, uh, replacing, replacing needs uh, for uh, making, making need re replacement uh, surgery. And that project is already, is already become a, a, a major one in China, and the, now it's going going through FDA, CFDA, Chinese uh, Chinese uh, FDA uh, approval. And uh, uh, 
uh, based on the current schedule, they could be they could be officially officially launched, uh, deployed uh, in two or three years a time. And uh, we have another another um, uh, sec uh, digital digital security uh, company that's, that's providing providing data uh, security uh, tools uh, for for corporates and also for the for for company with multiple uh, operation rounds. And that company is already is already uh, quite profitable, and the uh, they are planning for IPO in uh, in coming uh, coming one two years. Oh, that that's really nice. And do you uh, yeah. per se look for companies uh, in in the startups in uh, China only, or do you also look in Southeast Asia, let's say Indonesia, Philippines, Singapore? Uh, so are you also looking at uh, inviting startups to Shenzhen Valley Ventures from there? And in 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 in, in case you do. What kind of uh, startups would you be interested in coming from there? Uh, currently, um, uh, our our majority of our uh, startup company came from uh, Europe, uh, U.S. and China. I would say the uh, uh, one third, one third for for each area. Uh, we we uh, so far we have a very limited number uh, of portfolios came from uh, South Asia and the. Uh, uh, we do have a we do have a very uh, close collaboration with Singapore, uh, but uh, not with uh, other other uh, Asian countries. The, the uh, I think the probably the the reasons that the uh, we are uh, more of a hardware technology company, and the uh, the Southern Asia Southern Asia the is not uh, strong in that perspective, and the the uh, uh, Singapore Singapore is is, is is good on that, and the the uh, most of the hardware. Uh, Innovation came from uh, Europe, U.S., and China. Sure. But uh, yeah. in the future, in the future, we we are very interested to see uh, how we can how we can be uh, connected with Southern South, South Asia uh, market. Sure. And it, the existing portfolio companies, do you have? Uh, they are spread only in China currently, or do they have presence across Asia as well? Uh, currently, since uh, we are working with uh, early stage startup company. And uh, our company is only running for four years, so the, the uh, uh, eventually they will be going global. Uh, but so far, they uh, they still stay in in their in home country. But the, uh, there will be a, a period of, of growth uh, in in the in the, in the coming in the coming several years, and they may stay in the in the homeland uh, to develop the the local market. After the global grow larger, they may uh, expand uh, globally. I sure. say the South Asia will be a very attractive country since uh, uh, there's many people over there. India, uh, India, Malaysia, and the Indonesia. They, 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 this, uh, this uh, country in, in hundreds, hundreds of million uh, people over there. Yes, that's right. Uh, uh, so, I mean, are you also working in some way with corporates? Because today all corporates are looking for innovation. You know, while they've had products which have worked for them for years and years. But today they want more innovative products. For example, companies whether in auto, in healthcare, uh, even in retail, or you know, hospitality. Different sectors today they are looking for uh, innovations happening in their existing and large corporate setup. So, do you work with corporates in terms of accelerating them to find new innovative products which they can add in their portfolio and therefore be able to extend the brand that they have um, uh, to to newer areas or to newer fields? Uh, yes, we work with a uh, corporate uh, uh, as well. Currently, we have a three, uh, we have three major group of uh, of uh, of clients: uh, startup company, uh, corporate innovation arm, and also universities. And the uh, for for corporate business, uh, we really we we only work with their innovation department. I say the uh, uh, how to how to digitalize uh, their current uh, business. And uh, um, uh, on this Friday, on the coming on the coming Friday, which is uh, two days two days from now, uh, we'll be we'll be having a, a corporate innovation uh, uh, center to be to be to be uh, this grand opening for the uh, uh, joint jointly made by uh, SVB and uh, the third largest uh, consulting company in in world, uh, Capgemini. This is this is a French IT company. And the uh, uh, Capgemini has been has been uh, serving the, the Fortune 500 uh, companies, and uh, they are I believe the, they are the third largest IT uh, consulting company uh, in the world with uh, 20 with, with about uh, they are, I believe they have a 
270 thousand people globally the, the 44 variety for uh, services and uh, the, the AI the uh, center is short for applied innovation exchange uh, is, is jointly made by 12 us and the uh, the purpose is to, to serve uh, corporate uh, innovation needs even the corporate want to want to make an innovation how we can help them to make it faster and also we are be inviting start company and the university to join in the same the same uh, program sure but do you think in in hindsight because startups themselves they find i mean even with the best of innovations most startups and even with good funding they uh, they have a hard time particularly hardware companies and a big burn in order to reach out or find their customers out there in the market and sometimes it takes years and years for them by the time the acceptance of their product comes so by tying up with or by uh, uh, you know collaborating with the corporates are they able to uh, see that growth much faster than they would have otherwise if they would have gone on their own particularly for oh. hardware Frederick, are you there? I am, yes, yes, I'm still here. Chad, are you able to hear us? There we go. Oh, so sorry, the, 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 the line's broken. The, the, uh, uh, I see the, the uh, um, uh, from my own, uh, from uh, what I saw, the um, uh, corporate has been, has been quite active in supporting uh, startup community. And uh, you can see the, uh, if you can, uh, uh, you can see the uh, many, many of uh, many of the uh, many of the, the uh, uh, accelerator and uh, and uh, and uh, incubator is uh, uh, has the sponsorship from corporate. Uh, but the problem, the problem uh, uh, for corporate business is that the uh, uh, Corporate, they have, uh, they have, they care much about their brand image, and for startup company, if their technology and product is not stable or secure enough, uh, the corporate uh, usually has uh, is uh, hesitating to deploy it uh, commercially, uh, because the, the uh, when this if there's a quality problem happen, it may damage uh, their brand image, and. Uh, yeah. Uh, but uh, but uh, corporate uh, uh, is actually desperate for the for the uh, for the creation and uh, innovation from uh, from from such company. They're very active. The uh, uh, the so the, there is upside and downside uh, in the in the in the perspective of our corporate and the uh, and uh, and the same as the other way the other way around. For for such company, they want to work with with corporate. Uh, but their quality control and also the product uh, validation uh, system is not good enough to for them to to uh, to reach the standard of of a corporate. Uh, uh, that is the role uh, Cap Gemini and SVB we all play in the middle. Uh, we are be serving as a platform, and uh, we will be the party that's uh, that's uh, that's making extensive testing, evaluation, and validation. Just to make sure the uh, the startup technology is good enough uh, on quality to to fit into the the uh, the to meet uh, corporate uh, quality criteria. Sure, and uh, I mean on the other side, uh, from a from a more I would say the personal side, how have you seen the quality of entrepreneurship changing in the last uh, uh, you know the last let's say quarter since the pandemic uh, hurt us so badly? So what, what have you seen or how, or what kind of resilience have you seen in startup entrepreneurs? How are they coping up? Because it's hard time for them. You know, they, as it is, their companies are very small and in a uh, prototype stage. And at this stage when, you know, the economic climate is not uh, extremely um, uh, cooperative, how is it that they are able to cope? And what is it that you're seeing a change in the quality of entrepreneurship of these startups? Uh, I think the, the um, uh, um, I mean the, the, uh, uh, if you measure by by a, a quarter, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a too short uh, time period. I've said the, the uh, uh, usually since uh, the uh, used to be supposed to be to measure by by years, uh, not by quarter. 
I think the the, uh, uh, the past uh, uh, the past quarter will definitely be challenging for such company. Uh, I mean, the, I would say the uh, challenging for, for challenging for everyone except for uh, very selected uh, online companies, it's, uh, Zoom and others, which is uh, they, they, they actually get a benefit from uh, from the current uh, pandemic. But for most companies, and um, uh, they are suffering a lot uh, from it. Uh, that's including most of the sub company. And the uh, it's not only the not only the 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 uh, the, um, um, the supply chain, the the ecosystem, and others, and also the the uh, the fundraising uh, is also uh, becoming quite challenging. So see the uh, 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 for such company, the the uh, I'll say the even though the uh, the, the past quarter is uh, is tough, uh, it may not be the worst time. The worst time may might be still waiting for them uh, way ahead. Uh, I'll say the the uh, it looks like uh, the situation is not improving uh, uh, in the in the second half of the year. The, the sense may even going 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 worse. And uh, especially for hardware company, since uh, uh, software software um, uh, could be could be handled uh, by online collaboration, uh, but hardware uh, will need a lot of face to face meeting. Just, just, uh, you need to see on site and to, to, to see the products and to 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 uh, to get the machine uh, working. So the, the uh, this this uh, online uh, doesn't doesn't work for hardware in many ways. So I think the the, uh, the the challenge for hardware side company is uh, even greater uh, than software uh, side company. It's tough, but the unfortunately that's not uh, other it's not a good solution uh, for it for now. And the uh, uh, hope the 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 uh, the, uh, the the pandemic could be could be could be uh, eased uh, a little bit in in the in the, in the second, second half, so the the uh, people can travel to China. Sure. So. One of my final questions to you would be that, you know, if you were today to think of an entrepreneurial venture yourself or a startup yourself, what areas would you like to consider first? What sectors would you like to consider first? Uh, could, you, could you say it again? It's, it's, it's broken uh, a little if bit. If you were to today think of it doing an entrepreneurial venture yourself in uh, technology, what are some yes. of the areas you think which are the most promising in the next uh, uh, particularly, let's say till the end of 2020, if you were to pick up a new startup idea, what what startup idea is it that you would pick up and uh, work on? Uh, I think the, the um, uh, in the past, um, uh, startup company and also venture capitals uh, care more about innovation. Uh, uh, how what is deep tech uh, embedded in the in in the technology? The, uh, the driving the driving power has been has been the has been the um, uh, how advanced the tech is, uh, but uh, but um, depending on the current uh, situation, I would say the uh, capability of generating cash flow uh, is also equally important, or uh, may, might be even more important in the coming uh, two or three years. Uh, uh, in the long run, the, the in the long run the. Uh, uh, it, will be, it will be driven by, by technology, uh, but, uh, but the uh, survival, uh, is, is survival is the key for the, for the, for the skippers for the, for the coming several years, especially in the current uh, market situation. I say the, uh, if a start company uh, could generate uh, profit along the way, that's uh, uh, generating cash flow and supporting their, their, supporting their ongoing uh, research and, uh, and product development, and that will be a, mo a more ideal uh, model. Sure. Great. Thanks for talking to us, Chadwick. Uh, any final word for you or any final message that you have for startups out there uh, in terms of how they can today be thriving and growing their business when it's, when it's a tough business climate? What is it that you would suggest they do? Yeah, I'll say the, uh, uh, I myself, uh, I myself has been an entrepreneur uh, myself. I did, the, the, uh, uh, I did one uh, uh, two, uh, 15 years ago and, the, and uh, doing another one uh, now. Uh, being an entrepreneur is uh, is not easy. It's uh, it's uh, it's uh, uh, no one can make success uh, this, this, uh, this smoothly. There the, the, the will always be, be challenges uh, up and down. And the uh, uh, both uh, on both on the project itself and also on the environment. I would say the um, um, the current challenge may not be a bad thing. The, the uh, say the uh, uh, as a, as an entrepreneur. Uh, everyone needs to be prepared for the for the good time and bad time. 
and the uh, uh, a full cycle of good time and bad time is uh, is able to make a, a good entrepreneur. I mean, the some some some. Uh, very small uh, success, but the the uh, even though it may happen, but the uh, uh, cycle of uh, of Avatna, uh, will be will be will be the uh, I say the, uh, the 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 most normal way for people to get uh, succeed. Sure, thank you very much for uh, talking to us, Chadwick. I think it's a great opportunity today for a lot of manufacturing startups to be working with your platform and to find themselves in not in a no man's land, but to find at least some pathway for them to be able to uh, create or go further and be able to give some wings to their startup. Thank you for joining us today at Entrepreneur Asia Pacific. Um, and uh, we love to probably meet you next time, not in the confines of the windows, but really in person and talk a lot more about technology. Thank you for joining us. Yes, thank you very much for inviting, and uh, it's really a pleasure talking with you and the, and uh, to share the uh, the vision with uh, with uh, with your uh, readers.